we are here with Fabiano Caruana. Fabio just made a draw against Gukesh. How did this game went and how was it? I thought it was a, a normal game, but now the computer here is showing that I'm much worse throughout the game. But you're stronger than this computer. Don't worry, don't, they, don't, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> be sure about Probably not. everything. <laughs> yes. No, I was thinking to play knight c4, but I wasn't sure about this position. If, uh, mm -hmm. Like he takes and b5 and the knight on c3 is very well placed. So I wasn't sure. Um, I think I kind of knew this position, but I couldn't remember details. Like there's a line a4, mm -hmm. queen b4, a5, knight c4, and then black has a choice. Either queen c4, putting the queen on a6, which is very scary looking, uh -huh. or just sacking, mm -hmm. sacking the pawn, and I, I think I was going to play like this, and it's probably a more or less equal position. But uh, I didn't remember what to do here. Like, do I try to play knight c4? Or do I try to get my knight maybe to c8, d6? But then I was worried about knight e5. So when I played knight d7, I kind of, like, I expected that we would get this. So yeah, there was this choice. Are you obliged to play a6 here in this position? No, I could have. I could have played rook a c8 with the idea of knight, maybe knight a4, b5. Mm -hmm. Uh, I wasn't sure about this structure as well, because now he can take with the d-pawn, and now c6 becomes a bit weak, but I guess it's equal. Uh, yeah. But I, I kind of thought this was okay, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, just there were, there were so many choices, which pawn structure to, to choose and which one yeah. to play. I really didn't think I was worse here, but uh, I see the engine doesn't like it. And okay, he was kind of hesitating to play... Well, the reason he was hesitating to play knight e5 was because of d4. Uh -huh. And here I okay. think it should be completely fine. So that's why he tries to prepare knight e5 under good circumstances. So I was thinking, like, if h5, knight e5, I don't want his rook on the fourth because it's very well placed. So this is what I was trying to avoid. Do uh, you want to play any time f4? I mean, it seems like you like to play at some point. I thought f4, which makes it? his bishop very uh -huh. strong, would be very, very risky for me. Yeah. I, I mean, I was kind of going for this position. I thought now I force his rook off the fourth. Yeah. And now, um, yeah, like, let's say f4. I was also thinking like g4. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. The computer gives such a huge evaluation. I don't know how white yes, does is, anything. Is it kind of a fortress after this move? Like if you defend with bishop on c8, the spawn forever and just keep yeah. standing? Can he somehow, I don't I know. I mean, I, I don't know what he does here. I, like he yes. can't play e6. He can't attack b7 anymore. He can't attack f5 anymore. Maybe so, he, the computer just likes the space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, know. but uh, I mean, it, it's hard to say, of course. Um, mm -hmm. But then I regretted that I didn't play g4, uh -huh. because then I, I didn't expect him to take, and then I didn't like my position here. But then I thought that the solution I found was okay, because bishop c8, so first of all there's a quite funny lines here, like if queen e5, bishop h7, Oops. Mm -hmm. rook f8, rook of eight, yes. king g7, my king goes <laughs> for a walk, I think maybe to h6 or g6, I don't know if it makes a difference, and then if here it goes for a walk to g5. Wow, and you're winning at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah, now wow. peace. This, I mean, this he, is nice. He can always trade into rook end game, but I'm, yeah. not, I'm certainly not worse there. So then I saw this queen b2, but I thought that now bishop c8, uh, take everything, mm -hmm. that queen g3 now is okay. Peter hates my position. <laughs> Probably sees some kind of Yeah, uh, the, the, this so e5 the pawn is dangerous. Know, yeah. So then he could have gone for queen b2, and then the question is, um, yeah, like this was very... I mean, I could have also gotten this in the game. Like, mm -hmm. after queen b4, I could take yes. queen b7. Yes, trade it for b7. And, yeah, the thing is, like, his queen escapes because of bishop c8, queen c6. So I ah, can't trap the queen. Mm -hmm. But I thought that his a-pawn is very dangerous. And I thought, maybe d4 here. I was kind of thinking about this. Um, but, yeah, I, I just didn't believe that with my weaknesses that it, it should be okay. What's the computer mm. show? Queen a1, yeah, this line. King h2, queen a5. But here I was very scared about the position after bishop f5. Bishop f5, it seems like the king uh, is absolutely queen naked. Queen b5? Okay, I could never yeah, find no, queen b5. Yeah, it's not possible we have to find queen b5 here. Yeah, but also there's queen b1 and it's also scary. Yeah. So I don't know. I, like you don't want to put the queen too far away from the king, right? So you prefer oh, to keep... No, no, where's we go to... Mm -hmm. Went all the way back. Yes. So yeah, maybe he had a good practical chance to play queen b2. Because okay, queen b4 lets me off easy. I play, um, sorry, not queen five, I play bishop c8 in the game. Mm -hmm. And after the trade of everything, I think he was kind of worried because of the time. Like oh. his time was low, so he was getting a, uh, a bit worried. Maybe that's why he chose queen b4, and here uh, there's nothing to do for either of us. Yeah. You had black pieces today, so what was your kind of approach? Let's, I mean, try to find the way to, uh, let's say, play for victory, or there was never... No, I, I mean, I chose a very 
let's say, double-edged variation, very fighting variation. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't thinking, like, this is a game I need to win, or uh, this is a game that, oh, of course, I can't lose. That's of clear, because then, then he's one and a half points ahead of me, yeah. and, uh, and it's basically over. Uh, to be one and a half points ahead, behind with three rounds to go. Now, of course, um, I mean, draw is normal, but depends on the other results, like Jan's game. I don't know uh, what's going on there. Yeah, I mean, still, yes, position is it's still on the way. We can have a look quickly. Yeah. Uh, so this was the move that he played. This is the live position. He played knight b6. Mm -hmm. It's uh, nice to have some insights, you know, from the <laughs> football what, guys. This is what I saw. And I was yes. wondering about this position, like rook a1, mm -hmm. knight c4. Because if a4, then knight f6 and knight d5. Uh -huh, and and the a, once a pawn falls, why is not... And here I was thinking rook a4. Wow. Let's this is what I was calculating. To, to get rid of this, uh, but then d5, knight. knight f6, king g7, knight Take d5, five. and then black keeps his very dangerous a pawn and probably has good chances. Still, so, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know, it depends on time and uh, yeah, still it's possible position. for Jan to win or or maybe in some case for Vida to win, but probably... Probably a draw. Hard, hard to say, of course. Yeah, we will see. And Fabi, one more question. Like I heard that yesterday you played uh, title Tuesday. Is it allowed? I mean, I think Yasser was not really happy about this idea. Well, he, I, so I played the title Tuesday before that, mm -hmm. but I only played um, it, it, like I think it was even before the tournament, the one that was before. Yesterday the, you didn't do it. I so it, did you play yesterday? I played oh, yes. twice, uh -huh. and so the one like before the tournament, I played one game and I won. This was my strategy because if I. <laughs> If I play one game and I win, then I'll have good emotions. Okay. And then the first one, I played two games, and I won both. And then I left the tournament because I, my emotions are very good with two <laughs> wins. And then I was expecting to play three games in the late one, but the problem is that I lost the second round. So then I had to do something recover. to recover my emotions. And finally, I got second place, which is pretty decent. Not bad. But, but I'm telling you, yes, I was not happy about it. What can you tell him now? No, but come on, Yasser can't say anything. I mean, uh, we've played so much bug house during tournaments for like years and years. Uh, Yasser can't talk. It's not not his place. Um, and yeah, I, I think a little, a little fun can't hurt. Absolutely, and I see that you're in a very good mood, and this is what very important for the spirit in the tournament. Thank you, Fabi, and we go back to the studio to Yasser Mira and Nazi. Thank you, Anastasia.